After a long day. SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. Charlie, it smells incredible in here. Listen, you got room for one more? Forty more. It's a slow morning. Oh, well, good. In that case, I'll be sitting right over there, and I am definitely in the mood for one of those jumbo breakfasts, if you got a minute, okay? <laughs> Charlie, I'm late. I know I am. I'm really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. No problem. Where is everybody? They're late, like you. I am sorry. I I wanted to buy Dawn a present. Um, she had a sort of senior, senior recital today, and she's back in the hospital. I just feel so bad she had to miss it. What a lousy day. Yeah. Anyway, um, take a break. I can handle this place, all right? <laughs> you got it. All right. Later than usual. Oh, well, my guys are up at the site. I just needed some time to go over these. Oh, yeah? What are they? Uh, blueprints for the addition to Jason Frame's farmhouse. Jason Frame, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, John! I'm sorry. It's okay. It's no, right. I'm just... It's fine. It's all right. Listen, Cheryl, it's okay. It's not like it's life or death or anything. Cheryl? Our little girl got married. Can you believe it? I was there, remember? This house seems so empty. Well, darling, we just got to get used to it. I hate it when you say things like that. Oh, I'm sorry. What would you like me to say? Something sensitive would be nice. So long as it makes our daughter happy, makes us happy. How's that? Better. Look. <laughs> Her first day at nursery school. Oh, she was terrified. I wasn't exactly cool myself. I remember you walking her out to the car. She was hanging on to you for dear life. I was trying so hard to be tough. And you failed miserably. I was miserable. Once I dropped her off at school and started walking back to the car, I started crying and I couldn't stop. I know. You were still crying when you got home. I went so fast. Too fast. I keep listening for her to clatter down those stairs, yelling for Helen and pancakes. And asking to borrow one of your sweaters or my car. Now she's all grown up and married. Jamie's out of the house on his own. Matthew's way at school. No doors slamming. No loud music playing. No arguing. No worrying about what time they're going to get home. No phone ringing off the hook. Hey, this is sounding better all the time. Maybe there is a silver lining after all. Oh, wait a minute. I got one more. What's that? I can't wait to hear it. No wondering when they might be coming in. Oh, no waiting till they all get to sleep. <laughs> Just maybe we can adjust to this. What do you think? Oops. I'm sorry. Oh, Lisa. Hilda let me in. I don't think she knew you were busy. I thought I I'm sorry. Um, I should have called. No, don't be silly. We're just talking about how empty this house feels with the children away. Perfect timing. But if you'll excuse me, Mitch is coming over. I got to find some books for him to take to Matthew. Get her mind off the absent children. Will you? Uh, I'll do my best. Come on in, sit down. Better yet, move in. Do us all a lot of good. <laughs> You are feeling lonely. Oh, I am. I didn't think about it. I didn't know it would affect me like this. You and Amanda get along really well, don't you? Well, we have our moments, but yes, we're pretty close. She's lucky to have a mother like you. What a lovely thing to say. I'm envious. Do you have Felicia? Yeah, but... You know, but what? She, well, she, she's always out of town. When she's away. Well, you come here as often as you like. We'd love it. Well, um, I just came by to tell you how great the wedding was. No, you didn't. What? Lisa, something's wrong. I can see it, sweetie. No, really, no. There's nothing. What is it? What's Jamie done now? Thanks, Jamie. That doesn't seem to be an infection. But if it starts to trouble you some more, go to the hospital, okay? 
Uh, putting up chicken wire after dark without lights, that was dumb. I deserved to have my arm torn up. You did a pretty good job of it, too. You almost severed a tendon. Hey, I still feel bad about calling you at your sister's wedding reception. Well, my beeper was working overtime last night. And it's gonna start again if I don't get to work soon. Well, you gotta go? Yeah, I've got a dozen patients waiting for me. Well, I was hoping I could invite you to breakfast. I'd like to show you around the things I've been doing well, here. I would have loved that, but some other time, okay? Yeah, I've made a lot of changes since you were here. Well, I noticed on the drive up here, but how about a rain check? Fine. I, look, I got some things I want to tell you about your dad, too. That All right, we'll definitely do it. We'll definitely do it. Okay, okay sure. And, Unc, if, uh, if you have no more plans about making changes around here... Yeah, uh, I got major construction, you know. I'm going to do the kitchen. Well, why don't you try it in the daytime? It's a lot safer. Well, you're my doctor, <laughs> right? Thanks. Vicky, what... Are you following me around? What? Following me. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Paranoia, but I had no idea you were here. Well, then what are you doing here? What is this, the Inquisition? No, it's just a little strange that you're out here at my uncle's place. Well, Jamie, in case you haven't remembered, my grandmother lives right next door. Oh, right. And we decided we wanted fresh eggs for breakfast, so I decided to raid Jason's chicken coop. My grandmother says your hens are already prize layers. Oh, yeah. Well, if Clara says that, if anybody ought to know, it's Clara. <laughs> yeah, so how much do I owe you, Jason? Well, uh, let's see. At um, dollar thirty-five each. It uh, makes for a pretty expensive omelet. <laughs> tell you what, you get some of it. Clara's homemade raspberry preserve she puts mm -hmm. up. You give me a couple jars of that, you can have all the free eggs you want as long as you want. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Vicki, um, sorry for being suspicious. I guess I overreacted. Oh, no, there's no need to apologize, Jamie, especially what happened yesterday at the wedding. I, I hope that you and Lisa worked everything out. Oh, it's, we're, we're fine. Good, because I wouldn't want to cause a problem between the two of you. No, it's nothing that bad. Well, good. Good. I, I'm glad about that. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I got a phone right here. Help yourself. No, Uncle, I put one in my car. Listen, take care of that arm. Yeah, do me a favor, would you? I know you're busy, but would you get out here more often? I would like to see you. Lisa and I would buy real soon. Good. Bye, see ya. <sighs> you know, Jason, these eggs are whoppers, and they would make a mighty fine omelet. Would you like to join me for breakfast? Do you ever get jealous? Ah. Jealousy, is that what this is about? Yeah. Yes, I certainly have been afflicted by jealousy many times. I don't believe it. Oh, I think it comes with the territory. When you're involved with a very charming man who loves women. <laughs> well, I'm feeling better already. Is this just free-floating jealousy, or is there somebody specific you have in mind? Pacific. Anybody I know? Vicki Hudson. You're kidding. I wish I were. She's only a child. I wouldn't call her that. She's not even Jamie's type. How do you know? You're his type. What kind of type is that? Somebody he can trust. Somebody who loves him and he can love and take care of and count on. Not... Not a child who is as manipulative and obvious as Vicki Hudson is. I'm not sure he sees her that way. Well, honey, that's because men see what they want to see, but eventually they come around, really, they do. I hope so. It's just so infuriating, you know? Sometimes I just want to get out of Vicki's way. Don't you dare. Don't you dare dump my son. <laughs> You're beautiful and intelligent, and one of these days I would like you officially part of our family, if that's what you want. I want Jamie to be happy. 
I have a feeling you already know how to do that. Don't let a little child like Vicky get in your way. You're too smart for that. Thanks, Rachel. You just use your brain, okay? And hang in there. I will. Good. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, oh, Loretta. Dear. <laughs> you have company. Am I interrupting? No, I think we're finished. Have you been having a heart-to-heart? -heart? Yes. As a matter of fact, we have. Oh, how I envy you, Rachel. Your children love you. Even your son's girlfriend loves and confides in you. My sons won't give me the time of day. You mind if I pour myself some coffee? Feeling better? Yeah, I, uh, I, I gotta go clean your table, right? No, it's already done. Paper napkins. And I don't really believe that you're feeling better, so why don't you tell me what's Look, wrong? Charlie's on a break. I have to get up. Charlie's right? back from a break. Now it's your turn. I can't. Look, I just got here, okay, John? Cheryl, come on. Talk to me. I might be able to help. No, you can't. Try me. Nobody can. Come on. Are you sure? feel that way about a lot of the guys I served with and none. I and mean, they were just kids, 18, 19 years old. Every time she goes in the hospital, she never knows if she'll be able to come out. One day she's fine. And then... Age has turned out to be the, the cancer of the 80s. I mean, 30 years ago, if you were told that you had cancer, it was like getting a death sentence. But that's not true anymore. Who knows if she's even going to live long enough to benefit from the cure. It's not fair, John. But you know what I think? I think that you ought to be just concentrating on, on the good times that you have with her. Right? Just appreciate every moment that you have with her. Then she'll be gone. Yes, she'll be gone. And you'll be left with memories, precious memories, that'll make you laugh and make you feel good about yourself. I was thinking about Wally the other day, and Remember the time that he and Cass tried to teach me how to play poker? <laughs> must have been something. Oh, Cass. Now, come on. Don't start thinking about Cass. If anybody's going to come out smelling like a rose, it'll be him. I guess it's just my, my worrying day. Uh... Yeah, well, the thing about worrying days is, is that we all have them and they always pass. Yeah, I guess everything does. Mm-hmm. See, the real key to all this is just taking the time to stop and smell the roses along the way. Good to talk to. I'm good to talk to. It seems to me that I'm the one who did most of the talking here. <laughs> well, then you're good to to listen to. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Well, and you're just so full of goodness. It just spills out all over everyone who's around you. You are a real gift. Now I'm awfully hungry. I wish you'd get back to work. <laughs> Where the heart is. Damn it, you little creep. Why don't you watch where you're going? There's no place like home. Why don't you go home, die for your baby, and take care of that nutty wife of yours? Five homespun hours of dysfunction on Dallas, Dynasty, and Knott's Landing. Every Saturday night starting at 7, only on SoapNet. Home sweet home. In the summertime, when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. We're always happy. That's for living near the top of life. Delicious down and light and fit smoothie. Goes with you. Not on you. 80 calories, 0% fat. You've never had a smoothie like this before. Drink light and fit. Be light and fit. Oh! oh I should have used Preparation H. Cool it fast with Preparation H cooling gel with vitamin E and aloe. Cools on contact for fast relief. Preparation H cooling gel with vitamin E and aloe. 
Ripway's got it going on. With our 100% satisfaction guarantee, you'll always go home way happy or get your money back. At Ripway, you're more than a customer. You're our neighbors, friends, and family. For years, we've been taking you to places like this and showing you the heartbreak. The children whose only mistake was being born poor. 27,000 died last night. But thousands more lived because of sponsors who made a difference in their lives and sometimes actually saved them. We know you thought about it. Put it on a nice to-do list, but somehow never got around to it. Even though the phone's right there and the call's free, maybe it kind of gets lost in how busy you are. Maybe you're just taking your time. But Breder and his friends don't have till the 12th of never. They need you today. And you're not busy right this moment, so why not now? It's not the 80 cents a day, is it? Sponsoring a child, clean water, healthy food, a doctor to see, finally a school to go to? It's the best thing that can happen to three quarters and a nickel. And it's not like you feel bad after you do it. You'll feel great about sponsoring a kid every day you get up. And you don't have to worry about Christian children's fund. 80 cents of every dollar that comes in goes right out to help these children. So why not now? So why not now? Know what I think it is? I think you just forgot the number. So here it is. Christian Children's Fund is one of America's oldest and most trusted child sponsorship charities. For over 60 years, we're how people like you get together with children who need someone like you. So, why not now? Call now. We'll send you a picture of a child who needs you. Hey, you want an omelet pan in here? Well, I got a pan I use for frying pork chops and uh, chicken, scrambled eggs, fish. Have a variety of flavors. Hey, I had liver and onions in this thing yesterday. Tell me you're kidding. Please just tell me you're kidding, okay? I'll tell you if I'm kidding, if you'll tell me what you are really doing out here. Well, like I said, uh, my grandmother lives next door and she no. wanted some eggs, so I. No, said... you got that line by Jamie because you tap danced and double talked about eggs. Double talk? Me? What do you really want, Vicky? A perfect omelet, and for that, I will need the help of your refrigerator. Well, I guess you could want something as simple as just plain old Jamie, couldn't you? We've got some tomatoes and I think some Swiss cheese and Yeah, some... I would say that's it. You just want Jamie. What do you want, Jason? Me? I got just about everything I need. Oh, yeah, you've got a rundown farm here that needs a lot of work. You've got an enormous pension of a chief petty officer that hardly pays for the half dozen chickens outside. Yeah, you've got everything you need. Yeah, right. Why do you think I'm trying to get something? Intuition. I can tell when people have their eye on something. Oh, can you? Huh? You know, Jason, I was born rich, but I wasn't raised rich. Yeah, well, I know that story. I had to scratch for everything I've ever had. What do you... Never gotten enough. Don't you think we are kindred souls? Why not? You've worked for my grandfather, Reginald. He's a rich man. Hanging around with the Corys, they're rich people. So you think I'm trying to get rich, is that how you see me? You're trying for something. That's what I see. I see you're a pretty slow omelet maker, unless, of course, you make them without breaking the egg. <laughs> I break whatever I want to get what I need. I would say that Jamie could do a lot worse than Victoria, I'd Yeah. Well, someday your nephew's gonna realize that. Okay. Can I get you anything? Some water? Nothing. Blanket? Nothing. You know, your color looks a lot better today. It does. Thanks. How about if I open these blinds? Let some sunshine in. Such a beautiful day out there. I can't believe it's almost springtime. I don't care. 
Doesn't sound like you. Well, it is me, Scott. And yes, I'm feeling sorry for myself. And yes, I'm angry. Because of the recital. Oh, I wanted so much to go to I that. I know you did. And I wish you could, but at least it's going to be on the radio, right? It doesn't make much of a Dawn, difference. Don, Don. It's better than nothing. Scott, I wanted to see the look on their faces. I wanted to know if my music moved them, whether they liked it, whether they hated it. How am I supposed to know that if it's just playing on the radio? I don't. I just want to be alone right now, okay? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna be right back, all right? Okay. Hey, Scott. Yes, yeah. Scott. Yeah. How was she? She's pretty depressed right now, Chad. Oh, she was so excited about that you said. I know. Why does that have to happen now? I don't know. But we definitely have to do something. Like what? I have a pretty good idea. We'll see you. My sons want nothing to do with me. I can't believe that. Well, it's true, dear. I'm sure they'll come around eventually, Loretta. I'll tell you something. I'll never give up on them. This mother will keep trying until the day she dies. I can't imagine anyone not appreciating you. Well, does anybody want more coffee? Because you know, they're lucky to have you. Well, bless your heart for saying that. What a darling. <laughs> Maybe I should have you talk to Sam and Mitch. Do a little PR for me. I wonder how the kids are enjoying their honeymoon. Well, how bad can it be? The Quarry Estate in Palm Beach? Sure, it's fabulous. <laughs> Compared to the Adams Hotel in Philly, I'm sure it's paradise. I was doing a free Broadway tryout. The Rope Dancers, ever hear of it? The starring of uh, Art Carney, an incredible cast, marvelous play. Well, we couldn't leave the play, so we had our honeymoon right in Philly. <laughs> well, I bet you didn't mind. Not after the wonderful notices we got. <laughs> I'd love to see you perform, Loretta. Well, don't hold your breath. The phone isn't exactly ringing off the hook. <laughs> Suppose we call the kids, just to find out if they arrived safely. What do you think? Now, Rachel, do you really want to know? I should wait a few days, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't call at all if I were you. The last thing kids want is their mother interfering. At least that's the last thing my sons want. They don't, don't want to know I exist. Red, I'm sure that's not the case. <sighs> they only knew how I adore them. You try and you try, and all you get is a slap in the face. Kids never appreciate their parents enough. You realize that after you don't have them anymore. Well, if only I had more time with them. Why, why don't you? Oh, I have to get back to Humphrey and Carrie. Humphrey and Carrie? The cats. I can't ask Odessa Ferris to feed them forever. She's been such a dear. So I guess it's back to Seattle for me. Well, we'll miss you. Well, I'll miss you, too. All of you. I've just loved being here. But all good things come to an end, don't they? Not necessarily. What'd you say, dear? Will you excuse me? There's someone I want to see. Good luck. Thank you. It's so good to see you again, Loretta. Mm, you, too. Maybe we can do lunch before you leave. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sweetie. Lovely girl. Yes, she is. Well, if you'll excuse me, I, I really should call Odessa about the cats. Oh, I, yes, of course. I hope she remembered about their midnight snack. Oh. Hello, Mitch. Uh, Max upstairs getting the books for Matthew. He'll be Good. right down. I thought you would be going by now. Well, you were wrong. No such luck. Fall in love. Under the Tuscan Sun. It's funny and sexy. Yeah. Diane Lane, Under the Tuscan Sun. There's hot water in the toilet. This is really bad, isn't it? Not if you want to give your butt a facial. The perfect gift for Valentine's Day on DVD and video today. Well, I was vacuuming at home one weekend with what I thought was a pretty good machine. And I was really amazed by the lousy suction. So I took the machine apart and discovered the problem. A small amount of dust and the bags and filters were hopelessly clogged. So I thought I'd try and design something better. And a few thousand prototypes later, I had it. No bags, 
no clogged up filters, and the first vacuum that doesn't lose suction. I'm looking for something in the production operations management scheme. I'm educated and I'm experienced. I believe that any job that's worth doing is worth doing right the first time. I just got to just stop and have some dreams and then chase those dreams. Monster, today's the day. I'm a big loser with big news about the Slim Fast plan. If you're watching carbs, now there's choices like chocolate peanut butter bars. Baby, your mouth is going to go crazy while you lose weight. Come on, if I can be a big loser, there's nothing stopping you. If you're paying too much for health insurance without getting the benefits you need, or you haven't got health insurance at all, listen. You could be getting better benefits for a lot less than you think through eHealth.com. eHealth.com is the fastest, easiest way for individuals, families, and small businesses to shop, compare, and save on quality health insurance. Just go to eHealth.com and get instant quotes from leading health insurance companies so you can compare plans, prices, and benefits side by side. Even apply online for the plan that's right for you, one that fits your budget and your health needs. eHealth.com has already helped hundreds of thousands of people get the quality health insurance they need. How about you? eHealth.com, the quickest, easiest way to find quality, affordable health insurance. Go to eHealth.com today. You could save hundreds of dollars a year. That's eHealth.com. I moved to Earthlink because they hate internet pollution as much as I do. I moved because they block pop-ups. And I'll take all the help I can get. Because Spamblocker keeps my inbox neat and clean. Different people, different passions, different reasons for moving to Earthlink. Call 1-800-332-5575 and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. You also get Pop-Up Blocker. It stops almost all pop-up ads. And new Spam Blocker blocks virtually 100% of unwanted email. Only email from people in your address book go to your inbox. Others, like Spam, go to a different box. You never even have to see them. Because access should come with choices. Get the internet you want without all the pop-ups and spam you don't. And get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Call, go online, or visit these retailers. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. This month, get the best pay-per-view titles in the comfort of your home with DirecTV Pay-Per-View. You can order from a huge selection of new movies every week. With frequent start times and digital technology, you get immediate movie satisfaction any time of day. And you never need to pick up the phone. Just order using your remote. For complete listings, consult your on-screen guide starting at channel 100. Or log on to our website at directtv.com slash movies. That smells good. <laughs> well, next time have some caviar on hand, would you please? Boy, for a young lady who's been brought up rather poorly, you've acquired some good, expensive habits. I was quickly. just uh, making up for lost time. Hmm. I bet the Donna and Michael spoil you right fine, don't they? I spoil myself. I don't need them to do it for me. You got money? I have a trust, inheritance. I can get a lot of stuff with inheritance backing me up. Well, it means that the Corey money doesn't fascinate you then, does it? Mm -mm. But it does fascinate you. It's not bad. I think that's right by him. Well, why don't you give your hen the credit? He did all the work. My hen is a she, number one. <laughs> number two, these eggs did not come out of my coop because they're not laying that good. Oh. Store-bought eggs. You caught me. Mm -hmm. But it was from an expensive store, the best, the Bay City Gourmet. <laughs> all right. If money doesn't play a part of it, what does? Is it just true love for Jamie? Is that it? You know, Jason, I lost a man once. And I swore to myself that I would never do that again without an all-out fight. I bet your fights are something to watch. I don't play by the rules. I'd say we got a lot in common. Mm-hmm. We both like good omelets, don't we? No, we like to live on the edge. And we take care of ourselves. And once you live that way, it's real hard to do it any other way, isn't it? Yeah. 
Chad, they are beautiful. <laughs> you ready for a little memory test? Oh, oh, I don't know. When was the last time I brought you roses? Uh, I, I, I remember, I remember, I remember. How old were you? You were five? I was six, and it was a talent contest at Millican, mm -hmm. and I sung Michelle Mabel. Right. And you were the only first grader in, in the whole contest, and you won it. I was so proud, I couldn't see straight. And <laughs> then you stole those roses out of Mrs. Gelinas' front yard. How do you know I stole them? You told me. I did? Oh. Well, that's right, I did. <laughs> I thought you were so big and brave. My big brother. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You had some pretty good times way back then. Well, since I've come to Bay City, it hasn't been that bad. Well, a lot of fun. Hi. Jamie, I'm sorry to interrupt. Well, those are, um, pretty flowers. Yeah, aren't they? Mm hmm Um, Chad, I think my doctor wants to examine me. Oh, yeah. I'll get out of the way. Wait in the hall, okay? I want to talk to you, too. Sure. I have your test results, Doc. I can't take the AZT anymore, can I? Well, I'm going to go see where Mac is. Excuse me. Well, that's an escape if I ever saw one. Mac! Mac! Mitch is here! Well, son, it's, it's good to see you. Well, it's a surprise. I thought you were leaving me this morning. <laughs> then you obviously didn't drop by to see me before I left. No, but I don't remember your calling to Here say goodbye either. Hi, Mitch. Here are the books for Matthew. He needed some background material for his anthropology class, apparently. I will make sure that he gets them. What about the Shakespeare book? Shakespeare? He didn't say... Oh, uh, why don't you come help me look for it? We'll be right back. I will, uh... I'll be outside. Mitch, please, don't be this way. There's really not a lot to talk about. Oh, but you're wrong. But there's so much. I, I want to hear about you and Matthew. How are the two of you getting along? All right. But will you give him my love? I think it would be a good idea if you called him and told him yourself. Mitch, why do you try to hurt me like this? You know, you, you really act as though you care. Uh, of course I care. I'm your mother. Well, I noticed all of a sudden this, uh, this concern for me, which was never there before, but, what? uh, I wonder if all this, this love and caring is just a show for the Corey's benefit. Oh, you're wrong. That's not true. I've always cared. Always. Oh, really? Well, where were you all those years? Where were you when I was in prison? You're watching another world. Poor Charles is back with a bang. Only on soap net. Some things I never expect to hear in my lifetime. It's time for bed. Can I move the lawn now? Can I please take out the garbage? But now I can expect this. Don't forget my vitamins. Now there's Vitaball, the vitamin gumball. A whole new way to take your vitamins. <laughs> Four great gumball flavors. It's Vitaball time. Each with 100% of 11 essential vitamins. My Vitaball? When was the last time your kids reminded you to give them their vitamins? Try Vitaball, the vitamin gumball. Don't forget my Vitaball. Look for it in the children's vitamin section. I just want to feel clear, wide open. I want to re-enter the world. I just want the pressure to leave. I want to feel like myself again. I want my head back. Introducing new Tylenol Sinus Severe Congestion. I was stuck, now I'm unstuck. It relieves congestion, pressure, and has Tylenol for pain. So it relieves more symptoms than even the leading sinus prescription. I'm back in the land of the living. No more singing the blues. New Tylenol Sinus Severe Congestion. Gone. If you have a mobility problem, 
Here's an important message from Hoveround. If you pre-qualify for a power chair, we will deliver a brand new Hoveround to your home. That's right. Unlike many mobility companies that offer deals too good to be true, our offer is straightforward. We will deliver you a power chair if you pre-qualify. It's that simple. But that's not the only difference between us and other mobility companies that just sell products. At Hoveround, we manufacture power chairs in the USA. Our complete line of power chairs and motorized scooters are the most comfortable you can sit in, and they're built to last a lifetime. There are no middlemen. We have service locations coast to coast. We do all the paperwork, and we offer the best customer service anywhere. We like to look at our chair and our system as a solution to problems. Oh, I love it. I really do. It's best thing since legs. <laughs> Call now. Our mobility specialist will come to your home and evaluate exactly which hoveround is best for you. Over 30,000 doctors have prescribed hoveround power chairs, and in most cases, the costs were 100% covered. So why settle for a generic product when you can own the name brand, a hoveround, for little or no money out of pocket? Come to find out, it didn't cost me one single penny, and I now have my hoveround. If you have Medicare or private insurance and want to own a hoveround, call right now. We'll send you a free video. We'll evaluate your individual needs. And if you pre-qualify, we'll deliver a power chair to your home. It can't get better than this. At Hoveround, we believe you should be free to see the world. And remember, if you pre-qualify for a power chair, we'll deliver a brand new Hoveround to your home. Call now. Well, I found the books. I'll go pack them. No, 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 that's all right. I'll just take them. And um, I'll be on my way. Mitch, I still am looking for some books. Well, you can uh, take them the next time you visit. I'll see you. Mitch, why don't you just talk to your mother? Don't interfere, Rachel. I'm just trying to help. Don't. Uh, it's good of you to care, Rachel, but the fact is, uh, Mitch and I have, have said that we have to, so uh, will you tell my grandson goodbye? And that I'll call him and tell him that I do care. Mitch, stop her. Don't interfere. Just She's don't. crying. Don't you see that? She's an actress. That's not fair. Those tears don't mean anything. They're just part of her performance. How can you be so callous? What makes you think you understand? All she wants to do is talk to you, Mitch. I'm sorry. I can't help what she wants. You're her son. Yes, I am. And I'll deal with her. I will handle her. Don't interfere. Don't interfere. Darling, well, I found the book we were looking for. What's the matter, Rachel? It's going to go really quickly now. I could die really soon. Now you can't look at it that way, Dawn. Yeah, you want me to look at it? It's the old cliche. One day at a time. None of us can predict what's going to happen. Now I'm off the ACT. Right. Just hang on a minute, okay? Who are you calling? All right, give me room 624, please. Thank you. Jamie. Hi, Gary. Dr. Frame, can you come down to room 6C? Don Rollo, right. Can you come right now? Terrific. What are you doing? Thanks a lot. Things are not hopeless, Don Rollo. I have someone for you to see. And I'll be right back. We have to take Dawn off the AZT. This better be good, Frank. You're gonna love her. Yeah? Last time you said that, I ended up with a face full of applesauce. 
That was a kid. Yeah, a mean kid. But you did cheer him up, Gary. Sure. After he threw the apple sauce at me, he was in great spirits. He couldn't stop <laughs> laughing. I promise Don won't throw anything at you. Just tell me one thing. Did he clear away the lunch tray? <laughs> it's not a morsel of food in sight. Seriously. What do you want me to do for her? Everything. Jason, I've really enjoyed this today. So do I. Good. I don't have many friends. But I feel like I've found one. You have? Oi there, brain father. Let's check on the board. Ah, come aboard, sailor. Hi, Uncle John. Hi, Vicky. You know, I m must say you just missed an incredible omelet, if I do say so myself. Well, if I'd known that there were going to be incredible omelets here, I wouldn't have pigged out at Mary's place. <laughs> Too bad. Is that uh, my blueprint? Uh, brown print. A little accident with some coffee. <laughs> How's your mother? Oh, she's doing real well. Staying in bed, but doing real well, thanks. Good. Give her my best? I will. Well, I will let you two work, and I'm just going to get out of here, okay? I'll see you both again soon. Thanks. Sure. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. You got a fascinating niece there. What's she doing here? Well, Jamie came by, and I have a feeling that every place Jamie goes, you're going to find Vicky right there behind. He and Lisa split? I don't think so, but I would say that Vicky was working on it. It's too bad. At least she's a good woman. I almost feel Vicky would be better for him. I mean, loosen him up a little bit. He was raised as a Cory, but he's got framed genes. Means he's all man. A real hellraiser, huh? Yeah, he's a winner. We are winners. We don't lose. Got this farm, didn't it? Yeah, that you did. How you got the money for it, I'll never know, though. It's not in the doing, it's in the getting. What do you got on page two? Uh, this is uh, just about the whole layout here. I, I haven't figured up the cost yet, though. I'll figure out how to pay for it. Yeah, well, you better figure out how to pay for it. I ain't in this business for my health. Construction can bring in a lot of bread, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, yeah. Then we gotta go for it. Go out and get it. Huh? You take it, you go right out, and you get it. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm talking about the future. Our future. Wow. What they share is built on honesty. I would do anything for her. Loyalty. Honey, you came back to me. And above all, trust. Maggie just wants me to be happy. Bianca Montgomery and Maggie Stone. Best friends. You are not getting rid of me. Thank you. Watch them stand up to Pine Valley together. It's a lot for you to take on, Maggie. I want to take it on. I'm her best friend. All My Children, weeknights at 8 on Soapnet. The new way to watch soaps. <sighs> Now there's a new way to freshen the whole room. Introducing Glade Plug-In Scented Oil Fan. The first air freshener that uses an ultra-quiet fan to actively circulate your favorite fragrance throughout the entire room. There. Isn't that better? New Glade Plug-In Scented Oil Fan. Freshness with a spin. Plug it in, plug it in. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Hey guys, check this out. Look at these competitive numbers. Speed and reliability. That's what makes a winner. You're right. You can't argue with great performance. You guys talking about me? Not you, rookie. Hey, we're talking about Ditech.com. Refinance your home and cash out equity with Ditech.com. The total lender closing cost is only $395. I can hear you guys now. Lost another one to Ditech. Log on or call 1 800 Ditech 1. That's just the bland bell. 
Let's shake things up with some Zatarain's Dirty Rice. Tender long grain rice in a secret blend of New Orleans seasonings. Just add ground meat for a taste that's as jazzy as New Orleans. Don't forget your fork. <laughs> Jazz it up with Zatarain. Yes! Energy and weight loss in one power pack super pill. It's Xantrex 3. Xantrex 3. More weight loss than America's number one ephedra-based formula. 546% more to be exact. Plus incredible energy. Energy to burn. That's Xantrex 3. Rapid weight loss with a kick. Beyond ephedra and way beyond. Xantrex 3. America's hottest new super pill. At GNC, CVS, and smarter retailers nationwide. Or call 1-800-349-3595. Hurry, supplies are limited. Yes! Follow your team to the extreme. See them get riled. Or something even more wild. Get the widest variety of sports in Sports Pack with over 25 specialty and regional sports networks. All for only $12 or less per month. Order now at directtv.com or call 1 800 DirectTV. I want you to put together a young, top-notch team with SWAT. Suspects are neutralized. Yeah! They are everyday heroes. Ah! Why'd you pick me? Take off the captain. Called upon. Nervous? If I were, I wouldn't tell you. To do the extraordinary. We are waiting. An international fugitive. The family's fortune is in the billions. I will give $100 million to whoever gets me out of here. We're at a whole new level here. Okay, guys. This is what we train for. SWAT. Only on the Direct TV, Freeview Series, and Music Choice present Take a I Look. You hadn't been at home when the telephone rang. Shelby Lynn and Liz Fair, live in concert. Featuring Grammy Award winner Shelby Lynn. An intimate performance of her new album, Identity Crisis. And the extraordinary Liz Fair, live from Chicago's Metro, performing new hits from her self-titled album. Liz Fair and Shelby Lynn Live. Available every weekend in February on Channel 103. John, all this time I've been sitting on my duff trying to figure out what to do, and the answer is sitting with you. What's the question? Construction. Do you mean this stuff? Oh, I mean this. I mean a lot of jobs like this. Construction jobs. Yes, John, you're good. You're a craftsman. Jason, what are you getting at? Look, and you've got a whole talent pool of uh, vet buddies you can draw from, right? To build, you mean? That's right, to build. And with a name, we can get clients, lots of clients. So you're talking about a whole company here. Yeah, more clients than we could handle. But you're right. We would need a name. No, we don't need the name. We got the name. No. No, there is no way I'm going to capitalize on being Michael Hudson's brother. I'm not talking. I'm talking about my brother. What? Jamie's dad. We're going to capitalize on Stephen Frame. Frame construction? Look, at one time, it was incredibly successful. Yeah, at one time, but no longer. Well, it's just lying there fallow. It's defunct, but we can resurrect it. Not a bad idea, getting frame construction back on its feet. It's a good idea. You do the contracting, I'll take care of the business end. Wait a minute, though. Aren't you forgetting about someone? Who? Rachel Corey. She does own the frame name, doesn't she? Yeah, well, I'll figure a way around that. I want frame construction. I'm going to get it. Whether Rachel likes it or not. It's Mitch. You had an argument with Mitch? No, it's my fault. I was out of line. How? I asked the wrong questions. About what? I don't want to talk about it. Where is Mitch? He left. Rachel, why are you upset? I don't understand why he doesn't want to make things better with his mother. Is that what you argued with him about? Yeah. Well, then I have to agree with you. You are out of line. But it does affect Matthew. In what way? Well, because of this, Loretta won't stay in Bay City. You want her to stay? Yeah, I think that Matthew deserves a chance to get to know his grandmother. Well, much as I hate to say it, I agree about that. This way she's going to leave, and it's all my fault. It's not your fault, Rachel. It's Mitch's. Yes, but from his point of view... <sighs> Mitch was the one who took a son from his mother. Matthew suffered, you suffered. And our family was shamed. You are not to feel responsible. Loretta, wait. Please, let's talk. I have plans to make. What plans? 
I'm going to leave Bay City as soon as possible. Loretta! Oh, Mac, come on, you've got to stop her. So Jamie's put you through this before, huh? Yeah, ever since I've been here, next person he asks me to cheer up, I get paid. No more freebies. Come on. What do you mean, oh, come on? I'm not rich enough to do volunteer work. Maybe you are. Do you know something I don't know? Huh? Wait, hold it. You're not about to whip out a checkbook or something like that. Like that guy on that TV show. What was it called? That old uh, millionaire? Is that the real reason Jamie asked me to visit you? No. I wish I had a million dollars. I wish I could write you a check for a million bucks. But what I meant was that maybe you're j just rich in spirit. And that's why Jamie gets you to talk to people. Who says he gets me to talk to people? He says either you talk to them or I tell all the nurses to wake you up in the middle of the night to take your temperature. I don't think he's going to be that cruel. No. Actually, he asked me to talk to people because it makes me feel better. I'm helping someone who's in the same boat as I am. I guess he told you, huh? It hasn't been such a great day. Why? No more AZT. Oh. I know that feeling. I've been off it for six months. Six months? I was a crazy person at first. Made everybody's life miserable. Yelling, complaining. It's... I can't picture that. No? No. Here. <laughs> How could you picture it? Oh, that is nasty. It is nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Truth is, my life's been much better since then, Don. In what way? Uh, no more side effects. I feel, I feel more comfortable. Good to hear. And I'm funnier, too. <laughs> uh, you know that in the past six months, I average 27 one-liners a day? That is amazing. Yeah? Wouldn't say so if you hate them. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> Gary, you have really, really cheered me up. Really. Good. And I may be back. <laughs> Especially if there's some money in it. <laughs> hey. Ah, sorry. You have a visitor, no, I'll no, leave. No, Gary, I want you to meet Scott. Scott, this is Gary. Scott comes to see me every day. Hi, Gary, how you doing? Every day. You're lucky to have a friend like that. Friends. This little lady has a lot more friends than she knows what to do with. What are you Again, doing? Hey, come on in. <laughs> Hi, Doc. <laughs> Great to see you. Hi, Patty. Hi. What are you doing? I'm fine. I can't wait to hear your song, Don. It's a party. So you. No, no, no. This is no party. This, my friends, is a recital. How about a little round of applause for Don? Soapnet can resurrect poor Charles next with back-to-back -back episodes. Then stick around for some down-home fun on Dallas. How much would you risk to save the one you love? Get swept away. Poor Charles' time in a bottle. Coming up next, only on Soapnet. Hello? Honey. Oh, hi. Could you bring home some of your freshest deli meat like you did last time? Okay. You know, sliced ultra-thin. Some turkey, roast beef, and honey ham. Yes, dear. Okay, bye. Deli Select Ultra Thin Meats from Hillshire Farm. Double sealed and gladware for freshness. For that great deli taste without the deli. It's the thinnest Deli Select ever. Mmm, it's so thin. How do you do it? Ultra thin, ultra fresh, ultra delicious. Deli Select Ultra Thin Meats. These could be killer legs. If illness has you off your feet, you're at risk to develop a blood clot in your legs. It's called DVT. Complications could be fatal. In most cases, DVT can be prevented. Ask your doctor or call 1-888-DVT-NET-1. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Splenda is sweet, and so are you. Almost anywhere you use sugar, you can use Splenda. The no-calorie sweetener that's made from sugar. So it tastes...
tastes like sugar. We should taste it. <laughs> this is from me, Mom. It's something you've always wanted. It's your report card. I thought you'd like it. This moment brought to you by Sylvan Learning Center. I spent hours doing homework. Then I got help from Sylvan. We call our approach the Sylvan Advantage. It's a proven process that works. We begin by identifying your child's specific needs, followed by individual attention and personalized lesson plans from highly trained and certified teachers who just love teaching. And progress reports for you every step of the way. If your child is struggling or just not being challenged enough, call Sylvan at 1-800-EDUCATE. Now, homework's no problem. Call this number today. The skills to do better in school, the confidence to do better in everything else. Sylvan. Learning feels good. together tonight, Jamie. I know things have been kind of confusing. And, um, maybe I've reacted. Um, I don't know. Vicky, hey guys, what's up? Take a look. Oh, that's a beautiful song. Yes, isn't it? about loving and caring. Jamie. <laughs> loving and caring, huh? is between them. But it affects Matthew. Matthew doesn't even know Loretta. He should. Look, the idea is fine, Rachel. It's a noble idea, but the practicality... Matthew would love her. He'd be crazy about her, Matt. She is determined to go home. If you could just help me keep her here until he arrives. Is it such a terrible idea? The two of us here at home? What? You and I, alone for a change. Oh, Mac, please. Please what? Just help me keep her here until Matthew comes home. The two of us is a lousy idea. No, it isn't. It's a lovely idea. It's a very romantic idea. But can we save it? Save it? If you were to just talk to Loretta, a word from you, Mac... Look how it just worked with you. Just explain to Loretta how much it would mean for Matthew. I'm not sure it will mean anything at all to Matthew. Oh, Mac, please, come on. <laughs> oh, Loretta. We were just talking about you. Yes, we decided we can't let you go. Oh, not yet. Not until you've spent some time with Matthew. It would be so wonderful to see you two together. Uh, I, I really think I should go. It doesn't bear discussing, Loretta. We're family. Families belong together, for a while at least. It would be lovely to see my grandson. Of course it would. In fact, I'd love it. If it, it won't be too much trouble. It would be a joy. You go on upstairs and unpack. Well, luckily I didn't bring much, so it won't take long. <laughs> and once you finish unpacking, you come down and we'll talk about all the wonderful things we're going to do when Matthew gets here. I'll be down in a flash. Oh, Mac, thank you. Mm, I'm so lucky to have you. What did I do? You did most of the talking. She didn't want to leave anyway. I just hope we know what we're getting into. Thank you. God, it is so much. 
much I want to 